We all know eating healthy and getting enough exercise and sleep are good for us, but you may not know that just 20 minutes of art a day can have the same benefits and supposedly help you live longer. The research is laid out in a new book, Your Brain on Art, How the Art Transforms Us. One of the co-authors, Susan McSammon, joins us now live. Good morning. Good morning. Nice to be here. How could you possibly figure out that, that engaging in art could extend our lives? Lives. It is is an extraordinary feat to be able to really understand this. And one way to come at this is uh, early on, we spoke with E.O. Wilson, who's an evolutionary biologist, um, and really helped us understand that we are literally wired for art. Um, and from the very beginning of humanity, art has been incredibly important. Um, you know, we have born with 100 billion neurons, and those neurons are really waiting for us to bring the world in through our senses. And it turns out that arts and aesthetic experiences are the salient kinds of experiences that really create strong neural pathways. And those affect all, all the things that we do, learning, memory, emotion. So it turns out that arts are sort of a superpower for us. So what kind of arts are we talking about? And when you say 20 minutes a day, does that mean like, oh, I should watch TV, that's considered art, or look at a painting, <laughs> that's considered art? What, what fits into that category? Yeah, that's a great question. So, you know, I think we've often thought about art as sort of a luxury or something that you have to go to a museum or a concert or a performance. And it turns out that those are really important types of art experiences, but they're not the only kinds. So things as simple as humming and singing or dancing, um, even cooking or gardening are considered art forms. And the more we start to sort of understand that art is really defined for us as the way that we express ourselves. So as makers, we can express ourselves in lots of different ways creatively. And then as a beholder, we can find all kinds of ways to be able to experience art, whether that is as simple as taking a nature walk, which we think nature is one of the highest aesthetic experiences, um, or something as simple as going to a, a, a community uh, arts, arts class. So the more we start to understand art as a lowercase a and creativity everywhere, um, those benefits us in great ways. Yeah, I, I think we can all understand that those things might help make us feel less stress, which is no, nothing shocking. However, would you argue that in some way it impacts us uh, more physically, uh, our psychology, if we have a, a particular disease like dementia or something like that, is there something more specific uh, there? Yeah. So, you know, the way that we organized the book, we talked about mental well-being. So things as simple as um, that affect us every day, stress, anxiety, um, the kinds of things that we come up with, we think of them as sort of micro traumas. Uh, we also know that arts affect us for things like PTSD. So really lowering cortisol and being able to use different types of um, art experiences like expressive writing or drawing or doodling. But physical health turns out to be major benefits when you use the arts. Um, you mentioned Alzheimer's and dementia. So we know that singing helps to bring people back to a radical presence. And that's because the way that we lay down autobiographical musical memories um, first uh, are stored in our hippocampus, but then they are migrated and distributed in different parts of the brain. So in the cerebral cortex and the prefrontal cortex and the auditory cortex. And what happens is when the, the hippocampus campus starts to deteriorate, these other parts of the brain are activated when we sing a familiar song with someone. We know that dance and Parkinson's have great benefits for things like gait, cognition, sleep, and right. even mood. Um, it's, it's really quite extraordinary, the physiological effects of the arts for different diseases and disorders, um, as, as well as sort of every day, what I think of as arts practice for gotcha. mental well-being. Well, thank you so much for joining us. For more, you can check out yourbrainonart.com, and soon as, Susan is on all the social media sites. There's the book. Thanks, Susan. Thanks, Susan. Thanks so much.